Welcome back. So, the last episode, I'm a little sick. It's been a couple of days. <clears throat> last episode, we took off the uh, clutch switch. This is the old one now. Old one's out. New one's put in. Hopefully that was the issue. If not, I'll have to check the uh, <coughs> the relay behind the charcoal canister. Probably. I'll check out the fuses and stuff too, just to make sure. But today, parts came in. And we got six. Upside down? I don't know. Six of the new spark plugs, they're NGKs, Platinums. <clears throat> Damn. And some spark plug wires. So, get those installed. Uh, I did already swap the ignition coil wire. I'll show you right now. So, I've already swapped the ignition coil wire here because the other one uh, <coughs> was bad. The, metals on this side was good when you fall away here and you popped it off and you looked at it it was completely disintegrated it was gone so we're gonna go ahead and get this installed back into the truck so i'm not gonna worry about that or the or the switch don't have to worry about jumping or nothing <clears throat> and then hopefully get these installed um some of these plugs got some really really long boots i'll show you in a second that are I'm like oh wow that's a uh, crazy so Take a look here. We got one, three. The problem is, is we got one, two, and I want to say back here is another one, right? Yeah, right there, right in there. That's not so easy to get to, but maybe we'll be able to, we'll be able to do that. And then uh, I'll show you the uh, ignition coil wire, and I'll show you the long boot. And see if I even got a socket wrench with extensions for that or not. I'll have to check. So, this is the side that was connected to the coil. This is the side connected to the distributor cap. <laughs> it's disintegrated. There's nothing there. Should look like that. So, that I had to replace. It wouldn't start, <clears throat> even if I did get it to turn over. Obviously, for obvious reasons. So. Go ahead and show you the spark plug wires here. Really long boot. I'm pretty sure uh, it is the one that goes possibly. Is it this one? Or possibly the one that goes to the back. Uh, the best way to do spark plug wires and spark plugs <coughs> if you don't know the firing order do one at a time pull one off find the same length wire not always gonna work but same length wire same length boot probably <coughs> and we're able to get them so we got what i expected was like this but was not expecting this until i saw the one in the back and i was like oh that makes sense so we got that we got some I think they included grease in this box. Got all the wires. Struggling to get this grease out. It's way down there in the box. And we got some grease. So, um, I don't know how people do it. <coughs> you could put it here. But I'm going to put this on the spark plug tip, not the cable. I don't know if it's personal preference or if maybe you're supposed to put on the boot or on the spark plug wire I'm gonna put on the spark plug attach the boot not to worry about it that way at least that's how I've always done it with my dad is it right I don't know is it wrong hmm is there a better way of doing it possibly I'm not a mechanic I just like to work on my own stuff <laughs> so and then we get a look at a spark plug here I'm pretty sure these ones that I ordered were pre-gapped to 32 or 0.32 which is what the engine calls for. There we go. We got, so we got BKR6 EGP NGKs. So there is that one. Sorry about my finger. There you go. I got six of these. These are platinums. I couldn't get the, uh, 
<coughs> Iridium Editions because, well, I water from Rock Auto. So, all the parts either you're going to be Rock Auto or O'Reilly's. AutoZone, maybe. Depends. O'Reilly's been dollar cheaper every time I go. So, when I get the starter, I'm going to go to O'Reilly's as well because it's the same if I ordered it from Rock Auto, brand new, with shipping because the weight. <coughs> it's about 120 bucks. So, might as well just go to the store and get it there. Anyways, spark plug wires, spark plugs are here. I'll end up changing those. But first things first, we're going to install this back into the car. Because it one less thing to worry about. So, just like before in the last video, right here, not my arm, but sorry. Right here, we're going to mount that back up. And, uh, yeah, hope for the best for that. I'll come back to that in a second, though. That has to go like that. I still have the screws. Yes, I do. Okay, I don't know if I can film this for you guys and do it same time. I'll try. So let's go ahead and try to get this in here. Well, uh, line this back up. Maybe I should hook it up first. Will I not be able to line it up if I don't? Let me see. Which way? This way? Okay. Let's see if I can get this line back up and back in the connector here. Which way do we gotta go? I believe... I believe it's like that. I don't know if we're going to work in here. goes like so I'm such a big guy and it's not easy working this uh -huh. listen up here's a story about a blue guy lives in a blue world blue his house in a blue little window and a blue Corvette and everything is blue for him and himself because he ain't got nobody to listen to there we go all you gotta do sometimes is sing sing a little bit you might get what you want accomplished you know you just gotta, gotta make the best of life when you ain't got much life to live anyways I don't mean that in a bad way I'm just life's short Go ahead and try to get one of these uh, bolts in. There's the hole, right? Oh. Okay. Oh, almost. Come on, go in the hole. Don't you want to go in your home ball? <laughs> All right. So that's there, and that one needs to go right there. Okay. Oh, come on, I got a bite, I got a bite. There we go. All right. So let's make sure that this is already tiny. Okay. A little bit down. Alright, here we go.
Let's get the other one down now. Don't wanna go too tight yet. This one, it's not really such an easier one to do, but here we go. Hopefully it's still on there. It's not so easy. Let's see if I can get this mostly by hand real quick. And then see if I can get a bite on it. Gotta fish it from the top. Not really. Do got a bite on it though. Oh no, lost it. Switch. Very good. Gotta verify that that's getting pushed down. Oh yeah, it's connecting. <laughs> Woo! That only took what seven minutes. Phew. Well, yeah, that's 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 in there. It's connected. Now is that the problem? I don't know. I'm not gonna be testing it out today to find out. But <laughs> let me make sure. Oh, that feels good. Yep. Yep, that feels good. It's got. It feels like it's basically lined up so instead of it don't feel like it's going like this while it's going in and don't feel like it's going like that it feels like it's going just in the right spot i did move that metal a little bit but that, that feels good oh yeah that feels good all right so that's done um now it's a spark plug and the wires now i gotta go see if i have a spark plug socket if not uh uh, well, this bit, you know, that'll be part of the video. Just means I won't be out today. So, um, I think I do have one, but I don't think it has a rubber in it. So we'll see. I'm going to see what I got real quick. All right. So, I don't know if you can see me. I do got something that'll get onto it. Let's see right now. How? Uh, let's see how bad the. Oh, they're in there pretty good. Ooh. That's in there pretty good. It's turning, but that just does not feel right. And I pulled off this one. I think this is in cylinder one. Yeah, this is cylinder one. So let me uh, see what I can do here. Uh, put you right here, I guess. No, I don't know where to put you. Okay, 
There it goes. Dang, it's been a minute since these are removed. That's all. Uh, I'm gonna need a freaking. Cause I don't have a rubber piece on this. I'm sure, it's off. Oh yeah, it's off. I don't have that, uh, I don't have that tool, you know, where you extend it and grab the metal stuff. And this doesn't have a boot on it, so obviously it's gonna make it hard for me to get these spark plugs out. <sighs> My hands are too big. There we go. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty, uh, it's pretty oily. Or crazy. It's like grease or something. Let me flip you around here. Pretty grimy. So. What are they? Well, who ran these last? You ran Champions last, huh? Was it because it's cheaper? Are these Platinums? I don't know. I always run NGKs. Uh, so yeah, we're in, run NGKs. I'm not sure. Maybe it was cheaper. I don't really care for Champion. A lot of lights. I just NGK. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and get... Let's see if I can see down there first. And then... Uh, Start swapping and do the wires, and you guys can watch that as well. Well, yeah. there we go. Well, okay. It's pretty. It's pretty not the greatest. So let's go ahead and get one of the NGKs in there. Take off the plastic. How do I get the grease out? Can I put it back in here. Make sure real quick. tips here real quick yeah. a little more than that there. I get the tips here now you can put some on the plug as well the wires if you want as well but I'm just gonna put it on here and then hold it enough it'll fall it'll fall okay go ahead and get this drop back in here uh -huh. yeah get you lined up okay get you There we go. Let's get you on the Titan side.
to make sure I don't want these tight at all. Like not that tight. Yeah, they, they came off real tight, so I don't want them that tight again. All right, so one that we're gonna replace is gonna look like this. So the way I do it, find the one that closely matches this with the new set. Pop it back on. Pop it back on, and you can keep going. So one through six, or it don't really matter which order. As long as you replace the right wire with the right, the right one. So. <sighs> Too long. Where's Grandma? Where's Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> Need help? Yeah, sorry about that. <clears throat> so. Did I grab a... Was it on the box? Yep, so that was bad. That's trash. So. Is this a match? Nope, this is pretty long. I need it really short. For real short. Let's get these laid out. Get these laid out and then we'll go from there. Some two long ones. Is that a short one? I think that is. So I'm gonna lay these out here real quick. Alright. Now, are these a match? We got short and short. Just like that. So, old one, garbage. New one goes on. Now, I, I know I just put this on, but like. Uh, technically, oops. Uh, you can you can grease that plug is the plug wire as well if that's what you wanted if that's the route you wanted to go obviously. Okay, on to the next and so forth. So we want to take this one right here and connect it, disconnect it, disconnect it. And it goes over here to number three. So one, three, probably, oops, I'll break that. It's part of the air. One, three, what is this, six? One, three, five. One, three, five, four, five, six. Makes sense. Go ahead and see if we can get this off. Oh, came off pretty damn easy. It does not look the healthiest. Okay, next wire. Well, I gotta plug out. I gotta get the plug out first. Okay. Oh my god. Why is it in there tight? There we go. This should not be super tight. I don't want to lose my spark plug to the headlight there. These should not be super tight at all. There we go. I mean, grime, dust, and all that probably, but yeah. Oh. Problem is, is fetching all these out. I won't be able to fetch out the other ones. Like, uh, like these. These three, I'm gonna have to see if I can find a uh, socket that's got rubber in it to hold the socket, the, the spark plug, because I'm short of taking this off. I don't wanna do that. I don't really wanna take off the intake. Don't wanna take off the intake, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll see. Let's see if I can get my fish my hands into this one. I wonder. I just don't have anything for it. Rub or anything. It sucks. I thought I was spark plug. I was about to say, like, oh no. Let me see if I can't go find uh, one with the rubber in it. All right. 
Are these the same size though? Because I can't get a reading on this, but we'll see. Now this one has a rubber. If it's the right size, I don't know. Instead, if I ever get you one of these, don't buy the hot one, buy your karaoke. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Put them there for you. Buy my tough one, too. Nice. All right, let's see if I can get a bite of this Ooh, one. It's cold out here. No, it's not. <laughs> what the hell? Definitely not the right size. Dang it. Alright. I was hoping that that would grab it, but I think this is too big to even get in, get in there. So, that's up. Can I grab that though? I had it. I had it again. I can't. I don't have fingertip strength like that. There we go. Oh my god. Again. That's pretty. Yeah. This one. So the other one was burning. This one's burning, uh, why do I say brownish? This one's, well, hmm. Okay. Are they both champions at least? Yep. So it's probably a set of champions that I ran in here. So, is that good or bad? I don't know. NGK way to go. So, this one, park, let's put down. I'll probably, it's getting pretty late. I'll probably get these main three. And then, uh, uh, yeah, I'll probably get these main three. And then I got to work. Uh, I got five days of work ahead of me. So, uh, I'll get these three in. And then I'll come back and I'll get the other three, hopefully. Maybe by then I'll have a spark plug. What is this one? Three eights, five eights? What is this? Five eighths, but with the rubber in it, so I can get. I don't have to, you know. <laughs> I can just shove that in, stick it down, turn. You know, makes my life easy because I don't think I have one. So I'll probably get these three if I'm lucky. My hands are not that small; they're not that big. They're about to get in there, so we'll see. Anyways, let me put these uh, old ones back in these boxes, or not. <laughs> there. That's just going there. Again, put this old one back in the box. I would have got Iridiums, but when I buy from Rock Auto and <coughs> they were, the ones I was buying from were wholesale, so they were a little bit cheaper. I don't know how much Iridiums cost at the store, but I was getting them uh, from like 270 to six bucks but they only have like one or two so obviously that didn't work i need six so i went ahead and got the uh platinums instead best i can get for now mm. in the future i would probably run iridiums x uh ix or whatever the code is i don't know the code haven't uh, it's been a second since I was looking up there. Yo, where the hole at? Right there. Yep, right there. I didn't get that situated. Okay. 
Oh, there you go. Oh. There we go. You always wanna, I keep thinking camera's on this side. It's on this side. You always wanna, uh, well, you do however you want. We put a spark plug in, uh, we tend to, my dad always told me, go left until it clicks, and you're always good to go right. It's going in pretty smooth, so. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting some resistance. Again, you don't want to make these super tight. Like, they're tighter than how I'm putting them on, that's for sure. That's about the same as that one. And is it secured? Yeah, it's secured. So, now they want to plug this link because I threw the other one off. Looks like a mate. So, here's the mate. One with the wrapping, it's trash. All right, here we go. Number three. Again, you can, you can put on the tip of the grease as well. There we go. Go ahead and get this reconnected back up. And get this go back on. And just like that, pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get the third one off on camera. Like I said, I'll probably come back to the other three when I have the a spark plug with a rubber, rubber piece in it. So basically what I'm talking about is inside here, this is spark plug remover. There should be a rubber piece in there. So when you when the spark plug goes in, shoot, and you pull, it comes with it. Usually. Not always. Put it back on, comes with it. Uh this one's gone. This one's here, but it's I don't know the size of this one, but like obviously too big. At least to work in that inside there. Alright, let's go ahead and get the third one off. Third one. Oh, I gotta disconnect from the lines here so I don't pull the lines off. There. This is number five. Ouch. Okay. Number five. Put you right here so I get the spark plug out. Peculiar spot. Ooh. There we go. There we go. That was not so bad as the first two. I can hear it. I can hear whatever crunch, crap, oil, water, grudge, whatever that sound is coming out of it though. When I come back up, it's moving like slush around or something right there. It's not slush. Don't get me wrong. It's not like a bunch of liquid in there, but whatever is just on those spark plug threads is getting moved around. Oh, oh, that one came with it. That's how it's supposed to work. Oh yeah, see it dripping off right there? It's probably just condensation water. We did clean off the engine, so. Ugh. Is it Champions as well? Yep. It's like a uh, oily water gasoline smell, but uh, it looked like it was burning brown, but it's pretty dirty right now, so I'm not worried about it too much. There. Open up the fresh box here. We're gonna get the three done in this video. With this clip. Again, nice new NGK Platinums. Already pre grabbed BKR6 EGP. If it matters to whoever's out there watching.
Okay, carefully, I'm gonna go put this in to what I think is the hollow. Right there. That's so easy to see, buddy. Yep, got it. I don't know if you guys heard that click. That click. Alrighty. That won't be too tight. Uh, nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and find the mate to this one. Here we go. There's the mate. Again, as long as the links match up, you're golden. So we can go ahead and get rid of the old one. And we'll route this guy over and up. Up and over, I should say. Come on, go right through. There we go. Okay, put you back in your lines. Okay, and then you can just go right back into your little hole. Right on top. I got no grip here. Can I get in this side? No, that's just done. There we go. Clip. <laughs> Got it. Uh -huh. Alright, so those three are done. So, three are done. The other three, like I said, until I get. Oh, yeah, they're, they're kind of deep. So, let me adjust the camera here. So, yeah, uh, until I can get one with a rubber. I'll wait on these last three, just because that I don't want to lose the spark plug in there and trying to get it out of there is not going to be easy or fun. This is how that last one looked. I think I didn't get a good picture. Pretty uh, crazy. Well, at least they all they stuck with the same spark plugs, champions all around. Dang it! I did not want to do that. And then get this back in his home. So, yeah. I'm not done yet. I'll keep this video going uh, once I'm able to get the other the other ones in. I'll film that. And then uh, I think I'll drop the starter. I have it tested anyways. But yeah, like I said, I got, uh, I got five days of work ahead of me. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. This, I might, maybe I'll just upload this, getting half the spark plugs in, or maybe I'll just wait and add the other video. It'll be in a couple days though, probably next week when I have the time. Uh, yeah, but I'll just do that. I'll just have this uh, episode one with uh, reinstalling the clutch. I mean, episode two, episode two reinstalling the clutch, half the plugs and wires, and then. On episode three, I'll just do the other three. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Do the other three and then I'll drop the starter, <coughs> my voice, and uh, have that tested. And then uh, we'll try crank it again or uh, turning it over. Like I said, with my dad, my dad unfortunately is not able to do anything today or probably for maybe next week. He might be able to next week, but uh got diabetes and uh, doctor results weren't the greatest when it came to his, his foot so <clears throat> that's it for the day um 
hopefully you found something interesting. If you learned a few things, that's great. If not, uh, my bad, I'm sorry. If there's anything you suggest that you might know as a viewer about Nissan Pathfinders, why I won't start, maybe it's the blue relay, if it's the switch or the starter. If you got any information, please let me know. That'd be very great. Uh, appreciated. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for checking out my channel and my videos.